Hey there everybody, welcome back to another Noble Courses tutorial and in today's video I'm going to be doing what Nathaniel had told me before and we're going to be creating a clone whenever the player touches a part. Let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, today's video is going to be a bit longer but I promise you it's going to be worth it because I'll be explaining all of the code so then you can do it as well by yourselves. Alright, so over here what I've done so far, I've just added a small forest, I use the toolbox, feel free to use the toolbox. I know there are some comments below saying don't use the toolbox, I promise you the toolbox is safe, you just need to make sure that they have a good ranking of thumbs up. But, the first thing that we're going to do over here, let's go ahead and add a part, drag it over here. This is the part where the player touches it and then the clones start to fall down. So we're going to code it so when somebody touches it, something else will happen. So that means we have to anchor it. Otherwise it touches to the floor and then it works as well. So anchored so it is frozen. You can change the color, change the material to whatever color or material that you want. I'm going to keep this black and I think I'll do it. I'll do it a nice force field. It's like a small trap as well for the players. Let's call this part clone part. Then we have to tell the computer, Roblox, what it will be cloning. So we want it to clone ourselves. So let's go to avatar, rig builder, and let's choose my avatar. Make sure that you have R15 selected. If you have R6, that means the character has six parts and it won't work in this case. So make sure that you choose R15 and my avatar. And there it is. There is my character. Now, we don't want him to be rig, so let's call him something else. In this case, I'm just going to call him falling dummy. You can call this whatever you want, it's up to you. Once that's done, make sure that humanoid and also the humanoid root part are not anchored. If they are anchored, they just spawn and he'll be frozen all the way up in the sky. Click on falling dummy and drag him down to replicate the storage. Once you have that done, we're practically almost all done, we just need to code it. Now for the coding part, we're going to click plus on the clone part and add a script. Now as always, all of these codes, they will be in the Discord and they will also be in the comment section. But if you want, you can also write all the codes down. I will be explaining this step by step. So the first part, let's put local, replicated, storage is equal to game dot dot get service. And in the brackets, we want to do the bunny ears, the inverted commas, and we're going to write replicated storage. Because this is where we're going to get the clone. Now, we're also going to write a new variable, local part, this is referring to the part that we touch, script dot parent. The parent is always the one above the script. So the script is inside the clone part, and that means then the parent of the script is the clone part. That also means that the child of the clone part is the script. Now we want to get the model, so let's do one more variable, local falling. These are just names, you can name them whatever you want, but make sure that you name them exactly the same as this, otherwise it will not work. Or you might need to change some stuff from the script. But if you're a beginner to scripting, copy everything as it is, make sure that you understand the logic for now. And we're going to get the, the following model, the dummy, from replicated storage. Remember we added it before in replicated storage. We're going to wait for the child. Replicated storage, the child is the falling dummy. And let's call him by his name which is falling dummy. Now we said also that we want the script only to work when the player touches it. So we're going to say part dot, and yes, you did guess it, touched. As soon as that touches it, we're going to connect a function. Function basically means it's going to make something work. That's all that it does. Keep in mind, it starts with fun. And the reason that it is fun because it makes something work. Otherwise, it wouldn't be that fun if it didn't make something work. Then, 
local character is equal to hit the function dot parent. We're also going to confirm that the, whoever touched it is a player. So if character and character find first child has a humanoid. Oops. Be careful of these. If you write humanoid with a small h, unfortunately it doesn't work. The computer isn't always that smart. So if it's a character and it has a humanoid, then local, we're going to get the player's position now, root is equal to character, find first child, and we're going to find the player's position by the humanoid root part. That's why it had to be an R15. If it was an R6, it doesn't have a humanoid root part. It makes it a bit more challenging to find position. If root, then this is the part where we're going to clone the model. Local clone is equal to the falling model. And we're going to clone it. Then that means if we're going to clone it, we need to also add it to the game. So clone dot parent is equal to workspace. If you go in the explorer window, workspace is anything that you can see in the game. So everything over here, it is added into the workspace. So if you want to add a new model, it must be added to the workspace. Workspace. Now we're going to set a primary part. This is important because I know most of you have not added a primary part yet. This just makes it safe for everybody and guarantees that it will work. If not a clone, dot primary part, then this is the part where we're going to set the, let me write it down over here. Set primary part, if not set. Then we're going to write local primary. This is setting another variable. Basically, it's similar to when you assign a name. When you have a new child and you assign a name, this is exactly what we're doing. Clone find first child and try to guess the next part we're going to refine the humanoid root part but it can also be something else so we're going to write or clone find first child Let me just zoom out a bit. First child, which is a base part. Base part. There we go. Clone dot primary part is equal to primary. That's it. So far, I believe it does look complicated but you should be able to understand all of it by now. Now what we're going to write, this is where we want to position the new clone. So we don't want it to just spawn somewhere randomly, we want it to spawn in front of the player. So we're going to write local, setting a new variable, variable spawn position is equal to root, that's the player's position. Remember we've done that before over here root dot position plus vector Oops, sorry this needs to be vector 3 those are three different dimensions vector 3 dot new because this will be a new position for the player for the spawn character 50 comma zero that means it will spawn exactly in front of us but it will be 50 upwards if i just move my mouse over here it shows you as well the coordinates. So you have the X, Y, and Z. What? <coughs> the Y is up and down, the X is left or right, and then the Z is forwards or backwards. So we just wanted to spawn exactly in front of us, but 50 up. Let's try to clone. Set. 
primary part C frame. C frame dot new and respawn position. And that's basically it. So let's go ahead and test it out. I will be leaving the script, all of the script in the comments. And also let me know if you like these new longer formats where I do explain all of the script. But let's go ahead and test it out. Let's make sure this is anchored, play here. There will be just one small mistake and I want, you to, I want to see if you can manage to figure out the mistake and how to fix it by yourself. But take a look over here. As soon as I touch it, So let's go ahead and test it out and take a look over here. As soon as I click play, and as soon as I touch it, there you go. And this is the mistake. Dummies are touching it, and the more and more they touch it, we'll just create an empire, a huge building of our own characters, of our own clones. See if you can fix this mistake. If you don't, we create a part two of this series and I'll see you again in the next one. But make sure to like and subscribe and you can join the Discord, which is completely for free. And you can ask as many questions over here. See you all in the next one.